Okay, so this is mine and Aiden's science fair project. So I'm going to start off with the personal experience. In this experience, he, Aiden, was the one that wore the masks. So in this experience, he used two different masks in four different scenarios and environments and was wearing it over his mouth and nose at all times other than to eat or drink throughout the day and worked out. I did, he did all of these two days apart each, so it took two weeks to complete. And the two masks he was using was a sports and heavier types, so like a cloth mask or something like that, and an everyday surgeon mask. The smart, sports math mask was thicker and more heavy duty than the regular masks. So what he found is that when he wore the surgical mask, he found that it was harder, it was normal throughout the day, and then it got harder at like PE, but then he went to the gym, and he got very tired, and he had to take longer breaks between um, the reps and stuff at the gym, so that was really hard. Um, but on the research that we did, it says that Green L. Alt found surgical masks effectively reduced outwards transmission of etospores and vegetative cells with seemingly greater reduction of particles. So that, in turn, that means it basically... Um, it stops a lot of stuff from coming in, but it doesn't really, like, stop too much. So, on the second day, he said he experienced better breathing and circulation with his hair, because his hair is long, so he didn't have to deal with, um, the straps being annoying, so that's good. And when he went to the gym, he could breathe better. This is in regard to the cloth masks. So, various laboratories have measured the filtration efficiency of cloth mask materials used in masks, and they typically block around 10 to 30%. So, in conclusion, cloth masks are more effective than normal surgical masks. And this is our project from Jeremiah, Melina, and Aiden Niederhoff.